I am the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. So I just want to give a quick update on my uh, gold making progress. Um, I'm being kind of, you know, debating, interviewing, whatever, uh, by Geo Streber very soon. G E O S T R E B E R. So go in the top search bar and type in G E O S T R E B E R. And I will be on that channel, I believe, live pretty soon. But before I went on, I just wanted to give you all an update on my current progress. So I've been trying to extract gold in the sludge I've created in electrolysis of two iron electrodes in water um, with, you know, maybe trying a little bit of acid, trying a little bit of, um, you know, potassium hydroxide in there, um, you know, doing acidic electrolysis and alkaline electrolysis. I found that I get a lot more heat produced in acidic electrolysis. Maybe this is the excess heat um, type of thing in the cold fusion. I do have a pretty inaccurate radiation monitor. Uh, let me get the... Uh, Thing for you. So I'm using this. Um, it is the Can a uh, Radiac AN UDR 13B. I'm using this. It's a gamma and neutron detector. Um, I can turn it on for a sec just so you can see once it gets rolling and stuff. But um. I've been trying this out, uh, and I haven't noticed anything about background. Background of my area is around two uh, micro rad per, or sorry, ten micro rad per hour. Right now, it's reading about fifteen, eight. And that's actually this is elevated. Um, I don't know if this is just later in the day or what, but anyway, yeah, around ten micro rads per hour. I did not see anything significantly different than this um, when running my electrolysis, so I don't think I'm actually getting any radiation. I mean, this thing might not be uh, super, super accurate. There's a little button here. It's like plus or minus 10-15%, um, so I don't trust it that much, but I was watching it for a long time and I didn't notice any significant differences. So I don't know if we're actually getting cold fusion happening at 30 volts, roughly, you know, 20 volts, 20 amps, you know, something around 400 watts. We're not getting any cold fusion. People do get cold fusion, um, you know, with much higher voltages like plasma electrolysis. I think people definitely see radiation coming off in plasma electrolysis. Again, this is a gamma neutron detector, so if there's any x-rays or whatever, I'm not going to see it anyway. But um, So, you know, there's still possibility there, but what my my recent, oh, and I've tried to, you know, purify gold out of the sludge, the uh, sludge that gets created in that process, and I haven't gotten anything. I mean, you know, if I'm getting teensy weensy bits of gold, I'm not going to really see it anyway, but I haven't, you know, seen any gold, you know, trying to extract it, you know, precipitate with SMB after an acid extraction. I haven't gotten anything. So, just an update, I have not been successful yet. Um, my future plans in the description below um, I made a post on my plan for doing a very high voltage experiment, DC, roughly 2 million, 3 million volts, you know, in pulsed pulses, because pulses are the only way that DC can be put through a transformer and stepped up in voltage. So, pulse DC, if you want to see, you know, my whole layout on how I'm going to go about that, see a link in the description below. So, but I'm thinking that if we can get, um, a few million volts between some uh, hematite iron 3 oxide Fe2O3 if we can get a few million volts to run through that my thought is that we will create some gold doing that so you know my thought is try to get some iron oxide maybe compress it or something and then put you know these probes on either side you know the the electrodes coming off of this 3 million volt power supply I'm gonna make um, and see if we can get a little gold generated that way because the thought is that oxygen vacancies form on the positive electrode because um, oxygen vacancies are positive and they move towards the negative electrode so these oxygen vacancies in the structure of iron oxide will move 
to the negative electrode and when they do that those positive vacancies will be filled with electrons and the thought is there that will create a structural collapse and cause three iron 55s and two oxygens to combine into a gold atom. So that's the thought. Um, I still haven't been successful, but I you know, have a plan on moving forward, so we're going to keep trying. Uh, check out uh, Geo Streber's channel, G-E-O-S-T-R-E-B-E-R. -E -E I'm also going to post that video on my channel later on. Um, but yeah, he's going to talk about... Um, you know things that he thinks uh, you know about how gold is made I'm gonna talk about how I believe gold is made so check that out thanks for watching I am the nature hacker let's do it